I cut out about five minutes of video because I took a break. I had an Almond Joy in my pocket. I took off my helmet, I sat down, I ate my Almond Joy, and I just took a break so I could like figure out exactly how I was gonna get myself out of this situation. I think that my camera was off. So I just came up this like really, really steep hill. I know with uh, cameras, um, they don't really show like how steep a hill is. It's one of camera the flaws on cameras is that they don't show steepness. They also don't show stuff that's far away very well unless you have a telephoto lens. Anyways, I went up this hill goes up to like a plateau area up on top. And I've been up there a lot of times, like every day or two for the last like, I don't know, like two or three weeks. I come up the same trail. Well, this time it's so iced over, like the snow, it's just hard packed. And uh, even a full throttle, I just spun out like 15 feet from the top. Like, and it's just like solid hard packed snow. So it's not like I can roll it very well. You know, it's not soft powder or anything. And so I put it, I just put the e-brake on and I got around to the back of it and I pulled it around, like pulled it backwards. And as I did, the whole thing just rolled. And so I was holding on to the bumper. I had to let the bumper go, let it roll once, grabbed it again and got behind it and straightened it out. So I sent it down the hill straight. And I like, like sat behind it for about half the way until I was pretty sure that it had like, a good path and then I just let it go because I couldn't stop it so crisis averted that could have been bad I mean there's a rock right there there's a rock there's a really big jump if that had rolled into those rocks it would have really ruined my day um, even if it didn't hit a rock if it would have just rolled I mean this snow is so hard it would have it probably would have caused a lot of cosmetic damage I don't know if it would have broken the arm or anything but Don't do that. Whew. 
So I pulled out my uh, avalanche app and I uh, took a little a few measurements. It's about a 40 degree slope, but there's a few places that measure whoa, a little bit more than that. Woo! Yeah, that's pretty. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty steep. Woo! Uh. Yep, that's that is a steep hill. But luckily, I left the e-brake on when I rolled it down the hill, and so when I let it go, it rolled all the way to here, just with the full e-brake lock. Whew, so I probably am not going to attempt that hill again until we get a little more snow. The conditions change. But I'm okay, the sled's okay. So that's obviously steep enough to slide as far as avalanches, but I'm not too concerned about an avalanche right now. All this snow came from a single storm, and I've done multiple tests, and it's a very cohesive, like a single cohesive slab. So even though that area is steep enough to slide, it's, uh, it's just one solid slab with no weak spots in it. Furthermore, that area gets road a lot, so pretty well packed down. And it's a south face, so it gets a lot of sun anyways. Good job! Good job.